There he is. Oh. Oh, oh shit. not a no. good idea. Oh, I died. <laughs> you literally hit. I didn't mean to. I was aiming. I, I thought I was hitting his leg. Well, that leg. was smart. Go ahead. Blow up. Blow the, up. These are RNG. When you've it's had, happened so you've had much. so many. Oh. Something has changed since the last time we did a reaction to Maxor's Genshin Impact video. <clears throat> this this person sitting to my left, your right on the screen, has become obsessed <laughs> with Genshin Impact. <laughs> Whilst me, on the other hand, I literally could give like couldn't care. I. I'm, you remember just, how I played Warframe for a really long time on streams and stuff? Yes. It's definitely the best free game I've played since then. Okay. Like, Yet you haven't streamed it. No. Like, just, it's it's not quite the same deal as Warframe in terms of streaming and stuff. For one thing, there's a lot of the lore that's limited time events on Genshin. So part of my lore intake is having to go back and watch stuff on YouTube that's still not even in the game anymore. Like, that's a little bit annoying, but I've enjoyed what I played of it. It was mainly, I was like, holy crap, the one that I want, the waifu that I want is on the card. And then I got on and played for 20 days straight to try to get my waifu, and I lost the 50-50. Yeah. Didn't get her. <laughs> so needless to say... But I was like, I had fun with Zaki playing. Well, and this is the thing about it. He told me if he did not get his waifu, <laughs> that he would stop playing. <laughs> I remember those words exactly. So that was a lie. That was a fucking lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so not only did he not stop playing, instead, once once he did not get his waifu, he was just like, oh, but still, uh, you know, she's still a good character. And also, you know, he just, like, was, like, people have, like, dedicated, like, entire YouTube channels to, like, how to make good builds with her. Oh, there's like, an entire website named after her for builds. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah. That's, that's I, what I got saying. Keiqing, if you are a Genshin fan. Yeah. Um, so. And Cashin is one of my buddies I've been talking to on Discord because he plays Genshin. And he was the one that told me to get on for Hu Tao. Um... He told me he could definitely see me having quit if I hadn't a pulled Keqing, like if I had a pulled like Chi Chi or someone. He was like, the fact that you got a main DPS is wholly contributing to the fact that you're actually still enjoying the game right now. And I was like, fair enough. Well, so the and, RNG, it's it's the RNG's fault. Yeah, and and me, I'm I'm still an outsider looking in on Genshin Impact, and yeah, I get it. I get why people like this. I mean, it's it looks like fun to a certain degree, but I don't know. I, I just something about it just doesn't strike me. I guess I guess it's because I'm just it, it's just not my cup of tea. I it never know. struck me until I actually really gave it a chance. Like, a dude said on a video I watched the other day. Everybody kind of just looks at it and they're like, "It's a gotcha game," and they're. He's like, but here's the thing. When you actually play it, you realize that there's so much more there than just the gotcha aspect of it. <clears throat> but, um... Shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, there's a line from his previous video, Maxler's previous video. He's like, turns out Stockholm Syndrome's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just worried that... <clears throat> I was worried that eventually I'm just gonna walk in there, and Nick's just gonna be gone, and instead, like he's like Genshin Impact has like completely absorbed him, <laughs> and he's like a character in the game. It's sort of like a Tron thing, except you know, Genshin Impact. And then you have to choose whether or not you're actually gonna play Genshin Impact to see if you can somehow get me back out of the oh, game. Oh fuck no, I'm not. I'm you're just, just gonna, gonna leave my ass. No, nah, I'm just gonna write in chat. I'll just be like, I'll just be like, have fun. If you want out, I'm sorry, but too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I'll say. Maybe Cash and <clears throat> how to save me if that happens. Yes. Well, he'd have Cash to. Cash and Loviat can figure well, it out. Well, I was going to say, they would be the ones that have to because me starting fresh from the ground up, Yeah. you're going to die long before I even have a chance <laughs> to do anything. So, well, I know some <clears throat> things to stay away from in the Genshin world, but it is a dangerous place, so it depends on what kind of powers I get after being sucked into it, I guess. Yeah. So, anyway, we have uh, Genshin Impact as a playable anime, 
by the one and only Maxor. And I guess we're gonna see what kind of what kind of like holy hell torture like, this game is inflicting upon him. And by that I mean it's like literally got him so addicted he can't stop playing. Oh, for perspective on how long it's been since we watched that first one, remember he said there are two regions in Genshin three if you're from the future. There are actually four now. So, so and there's a fifth one coming out this year. So it's been <laughs> a while. There you go. So I'm right. sure Max War is more experienced with the game now than he was in the first video, too. No doubt. Anyway, shall we? Sure. Here we go. This video is up a cry for help. Genshin Impact <laughs> is a playable anime, and that's pretty good since my videos are attempts to make watchable anime. I can't believe it, guys. They made a sequel to Stockholm Syndrome. Welcome <laughs> to the world of Tavant. You may have heard of it from all the free advertising that I'm doing. A beautiful post-apocalyptic nightmare world featuring a giant tree... Uh, sorry, that's uh, the wrong game. Yeah. On our journey throughout Different the one. seven nations, we will meet the world's most colorful cast of children, entrusted and empowered by the gods <laughs> to wield elemental energy as dangerously as possible. I'm just a big fan of the characters in this game. There is no reason in particular. Assemble your team of heroic psychopaths and begin blasting, boating, cooking your mm. enemies alive, visiting Baby's first casino. And with enough time, it will become Baby's last casino. But most importantly, <laughs> have fun, because yeah. the game will try to stop you. I can assure you that the visual novels are exactly what Dawei intended. So join me as I navigate one of the most beautiful, fantastical, and expensive game worlds ever made. One agonizing country at a time. This is it, guys. This is what 900 million dollars <coughs> buy you. Speaking of expensive, don't spend money on Genshin. It's a, it's a trap. Don't do it. I, I'm free to play except for the Welkin Moon, so $5 a month is all I will spend. I've only done it once so far. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, uh, this is a weird episode of Ava. <laughs> I remember when I saw that, I was like, she just pulled that whole ass sword out of her boobies. Hey man, her cleavage running with low. <laughs> I like the title. Wow, font. I haven't been here in uh, two years. <laughs> Boy, how things back have changed. To and yes, the game still displays your IP address, just in case you're a little bit too critical. This place is where the player learns how to fight, learns how to kill innocent animals, learns that they are bisexual as soon as they see Kaya. So I think it's a great opportunity to teach the basics, and uh, nothing else. The environment here looks like it shares a polygon. I think a good place to start is with our team, the Fuelgenisaria. Official, every crew got the schizophrenic, personality disorder, mentally and physically deranged, <laughs> wife material. I'm uh, serious about that. That. There's a quest where you Your enter official is weird. Tulpa. End user license agreement. Literally the only physical DPS. Possibly racist. Has the biggest slappy in Tevat. Sangan... 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 Cock. And Rosaria. Sangan Omiya. He just gave up and was like... Just call her Kokomi. Now he just calls her Cock. Kokomi is her first name. Sangan Omiya is her surname. Isn't gonna stop Maxer from just calling her Cock. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like... Drop in appropriate garments. God, I wish nuns were real. With our team assembled, <laughs> we're now able to do nothing because I haven't explained the game. Genshin Impact is a based character RPG where each character wields one of the seven elements, all of them interacting completely nonsensically. Water buffs fire, ice freezes water, plants buff electricity, a fucking gas leak. Denger requires nine tabs of Khan Academy. My team is based on not playing the game as much as possible. There is genuinely no cooldown to freeze. By the way, what I'm showing you now is considered tame. The game is actually supposed to look some mentally deranged. The numbers are helping me to understand what's happening. Of course, some characters are bad, and others are very bad, but many are absolutely game-changing. There are characters... Yeah, I noticed he was playing with Ning Wong as his main DPS in the first video, and I was like, oh, they had to suck. <laughs> means. This one fights with a pogo stick, and this one doesn't fight at all. My cox crit rate is negative 87. The game also allows us to choose from a lot of weapons. I think I have a few copies. Each one with their own <laughs> properties and substats. Sometimes too many substats. Like goddamn, I'm fighting with a Wikipedia page. We've got bows, yeah, pretty spears, much. paddles, b big fish, sentient umbrella, child's bomb instructions. I hope you can see why there's a lot of variation. <laughs> and also theory crafting. A lot of... Child's bomb instructions. <laughs> yes, that is Ted Kaczynski, <laughs> a.k.a. 
the Unabomber. Jesus Christ. Why there's a lot of variation. Well, Kal Kal Kali is basically Mom's staff's Unabomber. <clears throat> Like I just had to. I just had to know if I actually saw what I saw. I was like, "Hell, we'll get to it later." I have a lot to say about it, but for now, welcome to the land of the Anemo God, who is a twink that gets kicked in the balls. <laughs> Damn. This guy's uh, really jamming out. No chat. I'm not going to do that yoinky sploinky. Oh my god, he just doesn't give a fuck. So what if I just uh? Oh no, he can't be stopped. Well, I guess that <laughs> is a depopulated anarchist state where there are no taxes, no police, and uh, half the country is controlled by wolves. wolves uh, it's a libertarian state. state. Mm, it's literally the, I mean, the, the city wolf, of freedom. Kind of special. Uh, what the dog doing? As a result of this, no your ass. Wants that what the dog doing? <laughs> Except for the church, of course. The city is undergoing a crippling wine epidemic. Look, I just think it's a serious funding issue when the cavalry captain doesn't have a horse. Therefore, most of your time is going to be spent cleaning up. I will say, Mondstadt's realistic. They do have like eight bars. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of places that get alcohol in Mondstadt, apparently. Hey. People need to drink. Only one enemy in Mondstadt. Yes, from the beautiful <clears throat> ruins of old to the peaks of Dragonspine, 90% of the enemies you encounter are Hillagerals, a sentient race capable of empathy and complex thoughts, which is why they must be destroyed. Literally take a <laughs> random location in Mondstadt. You are 10 seconds away from a Hillagerl. Well, why is that one unbirthing itself? Really cool that the only organization in Mondstadt is dedicated to race war. They even have their own language, which I'm being quizzed on. Honestly, I'm a bit of a yay Dada man myself. Really feeling that <laughs> yay today. Don't say Nini Zito, it's basically a slur. They have <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is this place has problems, but ultimately they are cool problems. Mondstadt may not be that varied, well designed, or even have a story that I can't summarize in one sentence. The dragon was mean, and then he was nice. Sun Tzu. But ultimately, this is yeah. just the beginning mm. of a long, long journey. This game is planned out of uh, seven years in advance. So as far as the basics go, there is no better teacher than Mondstadt. But uh, pretty much just the basics. I don't think I'm staying for the boss fights. I did, what is happening? What the fuck am I seeing? Uh-oh. Okay, can you stop playing for a sec? No. <laughs> I need to go to my teapot! Hmm. <laughs> can hear it now. Songs that make you want to poop. Okay, can you stop playing for a sec? No. That could very well be the case if I hadn't pooped before we came down. I need to go to my teapot! <laughs> your teapot is basically your Animal Crossing house, by the way. Oh. Post about this nation to instantly gain Reddit karma. And for that, we're going to need to climb as high as we can so we can deduce the direction. So, uh, we're going to this location on the map. If only there was a better way to view the world. Make sure to land on the elevator. Next, we're going to, uh... <laughs> shit. We're going to, uh... What the hell? One second. We're going to ascend to space. I do a... Uh, why does that work like that? I don't like, know. I've never seen that happen. I am alone in this hell on Earth. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Bye, you know, it's Fischl. Real bad when the moon is physically below you. Hang on, guys, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm just gonna. Uh, Fischl's from a different world. She's just like, I'm returning to my home. Well, folks, it was nice knowing you all. Never mind. Damn. So I. Uh... Just did the superhero landing and was like, I don't give a fuck. Hey guys, Max are here, and welcome to um, China. It's just China. <laughs> yeah, I know. Asshole. I noticed it. And I was like, oh, Nick's not gonna like this. Chilling. One, two, one. Bing, chilling. I really hope I didn't just tank my social credit. In our previous of adventures, we explored Mondstadt to learn the basic mechanics, and also, um, race relations. So for Leeway, we're going to learn that we've been playing the game wrong. But before I can get to that, I need to explain my team. I call it the hot shower by force. Lord knows we need it. Xing <laughs> Xi Jinping. Yes, this is a man. I know it's hard to tell. He is also ridiculously broken on account of his ability to make enemies wet. Interpret that information however you want. Hu Tao is the owner of a funeral parlor, and she could use a bit of new business. She is also the winner of the most terrifying Sims award. Like, the thread just doesn't end. <laughs> He's still writing them. 
most reasonable hotel mate. The is a <laughs> that I play for the That's that's person. not me writing those, I swear. <laughs> just, well, I've I did never, that. I just did that. Well, I've you. never seen you and that guy like on Twitter at the same time. <laughs> I don't get on Twitter at all. I'm sorry. Yeah, I <laughs> one of the most overpowered units in the game because in the second Shing Show, I don't even care that she's a, a federal psyop. I can fix her and Toma, who is the fucking spelled wrong. Just a just just don't build Toma. With our team assembled, we are now able to trivialize the combat because this team is ridiculous. But fortunately, Genshin is not just a game about combat; it's a game about gambling. You see, Genshin Impact is what we call a gotcha game because it has got me in its grasp, which means that the primary game mechanic is chance. Every yeah, you got Hu Tao and. And every piece of every build what's your face chance. do you know what it's like to they were all, they were on the cards at the same time so I would say Elon the the Galadium blue she was on the other card with Hu Tao, so he got oh. both of them and apparently they go really well together in a party well I guess uh, he's just I guess he just was able to get her because he actually paid money uh, either that or he saved up the wishes Ahead of time. The impossible goblet. Goddamn elating. Hey, so I see you're trying to level up your crit rate. Well, that's a weird way to spell defense. Fortunately, <laughs> we can predict the outcomes of our character roles using some Eastern philosophies. And the answer is, um, 105 on average. But don't worry, you've got a lot of time. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna wait a day? Because only a few times... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It do be like that. Oh, hello, Ashy. It's an Asher. Uh oh. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna say you shut the door behind you, right? Hmm. You shut the door behind you, right? As far as I know. Oh boy. Okay. Kate. Just gonna say if you back the. Can you just. Whistle for us real quick. You know, like a... Oh, I think that's her. Yeah, she might have opened the door and realized she forgot something. Yeah. Maybe she forgot her drink. I guess we'll see. Stars are actually available, and sometimes they aren't available. For 483 days, she is in <gasps> prison for racism. But what are they going to do? Lock me up? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was like, that's really funny considering that. Mm. Kate asking, are we downstairs? Yes. I, 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 I typed no, but come down anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. I just said yep. <laughs> Also, I hate the fact that they're using a Scatman John song for like the, for that right for that meme, but it's still funny. Yeah, for some reason, multiple people have deemed it necessary to tell me that Tainari's voice actor was arrested for, or at least fired for sexual misconduct, and I was just like, okay then. Grooming Good thing minors. there's a lot of other characters and voice actors in this game that have not been fired. Grooming for minors is wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's Hu Tao. That's that's his waifu. As you can see, um, her favorite color is black. She runs a funeral parlor. Mm -hmm. And she has probably the most dedicated like fan base out of probably any female character on this game. Or at least apparently there's one guy that's really psycho about her on Twitter and I swear to god it's not me. I'm not on Twitter. So he sure. says. So he says. Sure. Y'all can check my browser history if you want. Any cost. No. And there's a few ways to do that. You could explore more, go on fantastic adventures, or find amazing treasures. If you want to stay poor, no. You see, the real money is made in the daily quests, which are a series of useful and normal missions, such as talking to people, murdering those people, talking to the Hillagerals very nicely, finding the weasel. W where do you go? And ju jumping on mushrooms. <laughs> Who the fuck commissioned me to do this? We also have the power to send. I haven't done some error commissions yet, so I haven't jumped any mushrooms. To the coal mines. Look, guys, I really need these 2,000 upgrade materials. It's just uh, <laughs> best you don't think about it too hard. Greetings, Travel. Uh -huh. I'm Astra Abyssal. Okay. What can I do for you today? Yeah, I'd like to uh, send a child to the coal mines. What? Put her in for 20 hours. But Traveler, she's going to die. The lithium is not going to mine itself, Catherine. That must have been uh, Iron Mouse. 
Cash and said uh, he got Iron Miles to do a voice for the video. Oh, well, really? <laughs> well, for a person named Iron Mouse, they sure do. Well, they sound mousy, but whenever I imagine like Iron Mouse, it's just like Iron Mouse versus versus. Hi there, I'm Iron Mouse. <laughs> Sorry. I think she's a VTuber. I can't remember. I think so. Like it, she sounds like a VTuber. I'm sorry, is that stereotyping? Oh, wait, I don't care. Um, uh, no, she's a singer, actually, okay. Oh. Oh, no, Puerto Rican-American VTuber, singer, and live streamer. So, yeah. Uh, Boricua. She's both. A whole package. I was going to say, Boricua. I can dig it. I was going to say, Rick. I know, hey, Rick, if you're watching this, if you ever see this, you got to make an introduction, dude. You, know, you, you, you can help me out with, like, helping me introduce to her. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Meanwhile, Rick's just like, I don't... I, he's like, bro, I don't even know what the fuck Genshin Impact is. That's what he'll be like. I like how he split it off like he was going to talk about the axe in each section of the video, and it took him that long into part two to actually start talking about act two. <laughs> An authoritarian militaristic oligarchy controlled by a committee of really hot lesbians. I believe in god <laughs> supremacy. This nation is the land of contracts, and by entering, you have made the contract to not criticize the state. Consequently, leeway is also where all money is printed on the planet. So, uh, I guess Monstat's economy is powered by hopes and dreams. And also, uh, the card game. Look, Timmy, I know your dad's dead and all, but do you want to play Gwent? A minor side effect of this is that leeway is in the midst of a violent crime epidemic. As in, the majority of enemies in leeway are human. And even worse, they're poor. <laughs> so poor in fact that they're forced to fight you with Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. What is what is your plan, my guy? The masculine urge to dig a hole. By the way, they literally throw guys, dirt in your face and it like it's like a pocket sand, like your screen goes dark around the edges and stuff and you can't see shit. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, what are, what are you doing? Pocket sand. Ah! It's like, damn, Dale, you got jacked. <laughs> uh, I should probably address this. The name's Rusty Shackleford. You see, there are many beautiful places to see in Lee Waves, such as Night City, the fucking rice fields, <laughs> the most annoying place to navigate on the earth. Like, please stop giving me commissions here. And then we have the Chasm, which is a secret underground labyrinth containing all of the game's elder tours. And yes, this is just the entrance to the Chasm. Wow. Yeah, there's no sound effect for that. If you know, <laughs> no one will hear your screams. As soon as you think you're done exploring, yeah, I have the chasm unlocked, but I haven't been in it yet. To the game, so I can keep playing it. Now that we're trapped down here, we only have two options remaining. We need to mine and we need to craft. The Minecraft later. Use a claymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot craft a sense of humor. Look, what I'm trying to say is Leeway is a very diverse place. Life. Certainly more diverse than Hillitrol Field number six. But most importantly, Leeway is a land of questions. What secrets lie in this mysterious land? What adventures are still to be had? Am I gay now? It's almost enough to yep, make you feel like a bear pit. And so Zhang Li is a character that I saw him and I was just like, I have to cosplay as this man and go to a convention because I know for a fact I'll have all the Genshin girls after me so, if I do. So, so here's what I'll ask. He's like, it, it, if you did dress up as this character, I'd be standing right next to it and I'd just be like, Sir, why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> just that old uh, uh, Ugandan news report. It's just like... I understand that you are gay. Then if I could talk to him, I would be replying to you in a voice that's like literally like just one step above mm. Corpse Husband. Like he has such a low voice. <laughs> mm. It's like he's the god of, uh, well, that's kind of spoilery, but. Uh, but I, don't, I don't care. He's the god of contracts. He's like, oh. so basically. Oh, so he's basically like Satan. Kinda, yeah. G gay Satan. He, 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 he's, uh, they call him Geo Daddy, because, well, like, at least the girls that play the game do. <laughs> Because um, he's the Geo Archon. And if you make a contract with him and you break it, he will kill you. So. Ah, so Gaten will come for that booty. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it he says you will face the wrath of the rock. And by rock, he means his master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's literally a line he says in the game, though. It's like if you break a contract, you will face the wrath of the rock. <laughs> yes. Uh, Either that or he's just like. He's like, he broke a contract, Dwayne, get him. <laughs> yeah. And no, Dwayne's so just like, oh, you smell what I'm cooking. No, I was just going to say, like, next thing you know, you just hear the Rock's theme music. The da, 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 da. This dog is determined to get No, Asher, couch. stop. Asher. It's done. 
No. He's like, I'm gonna do it. No. I'm gonna do it. No. I'm gonna do it. Come no. here. Look at him. He's wagging his tail so hard he's gonna knock the camera table over. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he knocked. Yep, that's his tail, by the way. Yeah, that's his tail don't, hitting don't. the microphone stand. <laughs> See if you can get him to... He's a happy dog. A happy, happy dog. He's a very happy dog. He's a good boy. <laughs> you just got <laughs> Sit. Good boy. <laughs> See, he's a very well-behaved dog. He just thinks... he just He's a chunk who thinks he weighs two pounds. Yeah. That's his problem. He lives with too many kitties, so he's determined. He's decided since. No, he, like, he was like that before I even had uh, cats. Okay. I was going to say, <laughs> I think since he moved <laughs> in here, he's just decided he's the same size as all the kitties. Nope. There See, he I've goes. always been a lap dog. <laughs> yes. Where's there's nothing wrong with See, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm older than all the kitties. He, he, he just didn't realize he got bigger than he was when he was a puppy then. Yeah. yeah. I was say, I'm we still need two to, pounds. We need mm. to get, uh, again, whenever Micah comes over, we need to have it to where. He can chill with Micah again because Micah missed him. Micah yeah. missed him very badly. Yeah. I can find the doges. picture of him when he was a baby, real quick. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, we can show that on we can show that on screen in here a little bit. So okay. uh, I'll find it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I can do it well. I can multitask. Okay. <laughs> or in fact, that they're forced to fight you with Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. What is uh, of digging holes? I you should probably address this. It's. A How do we go back so far? Oh. This was August oh. 1st, 2015. Oh. oh my goodness, look at him. <laughs> Thank you. He's yeah. so happy in the picture. Thank you. Uh, one Come more in. time. Oh. Yeah, can you send that to me? I'll put it in the video. Yeah. Now y'all can gawk it, baby. I'm, as well. I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> Looks, but most importantly, Leeway is a very diverse place. Now it's like certainly more diverse than in this mysterious land. Mayor Pitt. And look, that was the day he came home. Organized so, by the way, there it is. Yeah. That's where we were. Not sure what happened. It's almost enough to make ah. Oh, that happened. Oh, it's still God. happening. God. Anyway, might have a few issues with organized crime, sea monster attacks, it happens twice, and the landscape always <laughs> trying to kill me. But hey, at least the story's up. It's okay. Can anyone, can anyone here tell me why, 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 like there's a, why there's like a giant bird next to me? It's weird. Oh, fuck, where am I? <laughs> Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. It's me, Arataquito. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys, listen. We need to reach Japan. Don't worry. I have a plan to bypass the location. I just we finished this area. Yes, that's right. We're going Whoa. to... Excuse me. We're going to travel underneath the ocean. So apparently I just have to... Um... Uh -huh. Excuse me? That actually worked. Okay, I think I've uh, made a mistake. It's time to descend into the abyssal zone. And just to watch out for the void. Uh, what do I do about this? So I think I've been walking for uh, 20 minutes. I was gonna say, dude, if you could actually get okay, there, now, so, uh, that would take so long. I don't think we're close enough. Please no. Oh, please no. You're gonna drown. No. Oh no. We're drowning there. <laughs> What is up, my thadies and gentle thems? Welcome to the land of Inazuma, home to nobody because no one is properly housed in Inazuma. Previously, Monsad taught us how to play, and Lee Wade taught us how to simp. Well, the land of lightning is here to teach us that we have not felt true pain yet. But first, let's go over our team, true. which I will be calling the, uh, Yandere Benzos. Yaiviko, Mommy, sorry, Sigma female, kidnapped a man and force feminized him. God, I wish that was me. Traveler, <laughs> making a call out post to my twitter.com. What the fuck are you saying? I'm gonna piss on the fucking moon. Bruce, you can literally name him Bruce. That is actually how it appears in game. In fact, we could name him all Bruce. kinds of things such as Baby Girl, Dr. Ligma, Wobusha Dr. Wall. Oh, I just got your... Yeah. I just got it. So that was the day he came home. Yeah. Aww. So. Super cute. August 1st, also, this 2015. Is, 
this is what I was talking about this game like literally spoiling things for itself like this dude is like worse than Clark Kent like there's a guy that shows up later in Inazuma's story and his name's uh, Scaramouche and I've been calling him Scaradouche because he's a douche wait Scaramouche <laughs> is in like Scaramouche, Scaramouche, what do you do? Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been calling him Scaradouche, but anyways, Scaramouche is just him in different clothes. And I'm expected to be like, that's a different guy. And they're either twins or that's the same fucking dude. <laughs> like, and so basically... Cashin's just like, I'm not saying anything. Uh, basically you'll you'll it's find like, out in Samaru. And I'm like, I know they're the same for, guy. <laughs> like, for, an, for an anime comparison, it's like Darien and Tuxedo Mask. It's just like, yeah. they're... It's, it's like, how stupid can Sailor Moon be? It's just like, who is Tuxedo Mask? Like, you stupid bitch! It's <laughs> Darian! For God's <laughs> sakes, it's been six fucking years of this shit! <laughs> oh, sorry. My work here is done, but you didn't do anything. <laughs> All he does is, like, throw roses and just be like, don't worry, Sailor Moon, you can do it as long as you believe in yourself. And then, I'll say she's like, He's right. If I believe in myself, I can do it. And then she she does everything. And he's like, no need to thank me. It's just like, bro, just here, here's your fucking rose. Just just go away and give your motivational talks next time. But I haven't met him with this part yet. So, like, I'm excited because I'm totally calling him Scaradouche when I get to name him. Scaradouche, Scaradouche. Look, you're not fooling anybody. Ballfart testicles. <laughs> God dang it, Max. What is that? And last but not least, Hokushish. Oh, Hatsune Miku. Oh, this is literally just Miku. Like, they didn't even try to hide Hatsune Miku? Yeah, it is. Who is the single most overpowered unit in the game. Like, Genshin doesn't have power creep because of Bennett. Send this bitch to the coal mines and have his testicles exploded. Actually, Zong Lee is more, more, more overpowered than that. I'm not playing yeah. nice. I'm playing for funny numbers. Every single member is optimized beyond the boundaries of reason. I rolled six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It up uh, cost $50. Tortellini. So Bruce cannot oh. fly, like actual flight. It breaks like half the game's AI when you do it. They're just very confused. <laughs> My entire team is him shooting down at the peasants like an attack helicopter. Just uh, don't ask me how long I farmed for this. I had to grind for this view. Hang on a fucking second. She's wearing socks in the water. There's something oh, uh, the yeah, I never thought about that. Inazuma is it had to have been horribly uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. And, then, and every step that well, she took afterwards, squish, squish. Actually, come to think of it, though, she is a cryo character, but when she dodges, she turns into water, so maybe she can just kind of, you know, not care about water touching her. Or maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. World All I know is every time I walk with socks Either that or she just has to permanently exist with wet socks I'll, because she I'll, can turn into water to dodge. Well, so. that's my thing. Uh, uh, just my thoughts of walking with socks in the water... Like for the next like thirty minutes, just squish, 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 yeah. squish, squish, yeah, squish. Yeah, not pleasant. And, and and you know your feet feel like you're in the midst of like a, a can of Campbell's soup. It's like, yeah. and it's and uh, yeah. And Kakomi is a very pleasant person for constantly walking around with wet socks. So. But mostly man-made. Me and the fellas watching Oppenheimer in the IMAX. Inazuma is also engulfed in a decades-long civil war, resulting in mass unemployment and a refugee crisis. Naturally, this is reflected in the enemy variety, because to visit Inazuma is to be accosted by hundreds of jacked homeless people. Like, these guys just <laughs> stand in the rain all day. How do the Hillichurls have more shelter than this? It is also a land of many islands, which all act as their own individual insurgencies. So I think this is a great opportunity to educate you as to why you should never visit Itazuma. You know, besides uh, the fucking puzzles. This shit is the work of Satan. Not yeah, it's literally a Sudoku puzzle with extra steps. I did that yesterday. The, King Boulevard. the only disaster this island has to worry about is the government, and her name is the Raiden Shogun. Kanazuka is the first island to be made uninhabitable by nuclear weapons testing, which then proceeds to leak out of the elephant's foot in an amount so dangerous it makes Chernobyl look like yep. a clown call. I'm in the process of cleaning up Chernobyl right now. That's uh, one of my side quests I'm working on. It actually takes literally seven real-time days to finish the quest chain because you have to wait 24 hours between each step. What? I'm on step like four or five right now. <laughs> so in a couple more days, I'll have cleaned up Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of time. Man. Yeah. There's also the Cujo encampment, but uh, we don't go to the Cujo encampment. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> wait a minute. What the fuck? Yashiori is an absolute nightmare on account of the non-stop lightning storm and uh, 
slightly imposing giant skull. My favorite activity is. I remember you bitching about. I was that. there for about ten minutes, and I was like, I gotta Google if there's a way to turn this fucking lightning off because this is awful. And thank God there's a side quest you can start doing, but you still have to basically exist within perpetual lightning trying to kill your ass for about an hour and a half to get it all turned off. Jesus. So it's it's pretty anxiety inducing. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. Place. It limits the land the light it can strike, so it just fucking wrecks you. Looks like another beautiful day in the great land of Inazuma. Of course, I could <laughs> fix the problem if I wanted to, but when I began the quest to remove the lightning, I was struck by it. I'm going to take that as a sign from God. Save my island and what happens... Did that happen to you too? <laughs> It didn't happen to me right there, but earlier in the game, there was just a normal lightning storm back in Monstep, and it was literally, I was just standing there talking to somebody, and it started storming, and it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of a sudden, kaboom, and my character just disappears off the screen, and I was kind of like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Hold on, it's just like, it's like, it's like, hey, buddy, is there a way to stop the lightning? Yeah, there's a way to stop it. Ah! <laughs> I was like, well... <laughs> I like how his head turns. It's like, and there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> like, sir, sir. How, sir, how do I save the this island from being struck by lightning? Well, the first thing you do is... Yeah, that right there. Yeah, that's that's how we uh, that's how uh, we let people know. Lightning sucks. Oh, just Jesus. Let him sit on the little thing. <laughs> <laughs> or just let it... Oh, gosh. So, yeah, so y'all can see that for just... Look at that! Look at that lump! Look at that lump that just like plops his, plops his way up on the he friggin. He just wants to sit with his mama. Well, there he goes. Okay, that's, that, a, that's He's enough. gonna force his way on. As long as he doesn't force his way on, like in in between y'all, because that'll be that'll be a bit much. All right. Yeah, he's done it before. Yeah, y'all ready? He's just like, if I fits, I sits. Even if I don't fit. <laughs> yeah, and you don't. I make myself fit. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. The sign from God. Say Rye Island is what happens when Mr. Beast donates 50 megatons of ionizing radiation to family Sabine. Like, this shit makes Evangelion look like a comic special. The fact Damn. that there aren't even homeless people Go here see. probably tells you all you need to know. Surumi Island is a very isolated place, populated for thousands of years by bird worshipping savages who need their mineral resources exploited. President Biden, please send Raytheon missiles so I can buy just Sawney water and Cheetos. I just think it has something to do with the uh, interdimensional dog. Whoa! Island is. I haven't really seen nice. that yet. Like, what the fuck? Does this even count as an island? It's just so beautiful. I sure hope it's not hiding some kind of horrifying dark secret. Oh, I haven't seen Inconomia yet. That's the side area that's after Inazuma. Mm, that music. Every time I hear that music, I always... It's always on one of those Mr. Incredible Becomes Uncanny. And it's the one that's just... It, it's like Mr. It, like Mr. Crow is like, you're walking down the street on a bright, sunny day. Everything seems great. And then it's, uh, and then it's just like, it's like, suddenly it starts getting dark, and you start hearing footsteps behind you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> I love those Mr. Incredible Becomes Uncanny meme comps. They're, some of them actually tell pretty good stories. Some of them are kind of, uh, like, kind of, like, shitty, though, and make no sense. <laughs> I think that's probably why he's using that music, though, because it's... That meme? That meme, yeah. Yeah. Economia is fucking Atlantis. You get there by jumping into the giant hole, and it's like, how is this legal? Are the developers okay? <laughs> this place was once home to a thriving civilization, which collapsed nearly instantly after they discovered TikTok. It also allows me to toggle the powers of the artificial sun, and uh, holy shit, this 5G connection is crazy. Look, I think you've got the idea at this point. As much as I've talked about reactions and uh, children, Genshin Impact at its core is an exploration game, because it makes you explore your sexuality, and that fact alone makes Inazuma one of the best areas. If you don't count the story, please kill me, mommy, I've been a bad boy. And okay, <laughs> this station might be lacking in housing, basic infrastructure, and some unbombed land. But honestly, that's just part of the rustic charm. How else do you think this island got a giant crater? Just uh, be glad you don't have to live in Inazuma. It's all fun and games until you piss off the geometry.
So this is where I'm headed to now. Well, I might do economy uh, in the chasm first, but... I was rushing to the end of uh, Inazuma for side story reasons. See adventure, then don't worry. This glitch is much worse. All we've got to do is uh, whatever that was. I can't let go of the W button, by the way. Get ready to receive some holy spirit. Uh, okay, so we're just we're just going down to we're, we're going to we're going to Silent Hill now. Sorry guys, it looks like we're uh approaching meltdown. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Max. So, uh, <laughs> one second, guys. My mom's calling me. Uh, hey, Bob, w one second. I'm flying to get that Zaza. What does that mean? It means I'm low-key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish you were normal. Okay, uh, where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> Perfect landing. Yeah, I, I went over to my mom's earlier today, and, uh, and, uh, the, what he, what she, what his mom said to him right there, just like, why can't you just be normal and just like, and I, I was just like, I went over there and I heard my mom say that. And she's like, actually, no, I, I take that back. Don't be normal. That You'd be boring. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, Why probably can't so. you just be normal? <laughs> <clears throat> hey there, my little genshits. Welcome to the land of Sumeria. Sumeru. Hittite jump scare. The only nation in Genshin Impact that can use the internet, mostly for racism. Good to see that nothing's changed. It is also <laughs> absurdly wow. gigantic. Like, the map screen can't even see all of it. But before we can get into the intricacies of Sumerian society, I have to explain my team. The, uh, the kindergarten. Nahida is... <laughs> I, I can explain. My girl at 10, but she is 10. Nahida is the literal god of knowledge. If you count knowledge as... The yeah, I was gonna say, she's Sumerian the dinder goddess. Sumeru, which she can read. Even when I log into Discord, there's no escaping her. Oh my fucking god, they're still typing it. How many emotes do these people have? All of them. Does watching you count as a hobby? What? I've actually been watching you for a long time. Already. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> skull. There is nothing happening inside her head. She could not pass an eye exam. Sangano Mia Coca. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. But fellas, I've got something to admit. You see, Kokomi's damage scales on health. Her healing scales on health. And yes, even her health scales on health. So naturally, when it came time to build her, I um, used the wrong stat. It makes the numbers oh, funnier. Don't. Yao Yao is very cute and muddy. Her play style is chill and relaxing. In fact, you don't even have to play as Yao Yao. You play as her artificial beast given life. Oh yeah, and throws vegetables just throw the bunny and then switch. would you kill for Yao Yao is not the right question. The right question is how many people I would allow to live. Personally, I think this team is really good for not having a DPS. And we are going to need it for all the funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Because, dear viewer, I lied to you. The best way to make money is not actually the Weasel minigame. It is participating in temporary event content, which I can only describe as punishment for developers who are too insane. Event content such as Prop Hunt, a game where you disguise yourselves as various household items to oh escape the Oh my gosh. They have Prop Hunt in Genshin Impact. <laughs> Prop Hunt. They had prop put in Genshin Impact because these are timed events. Right now, they have rhythm games. I bet you feel right at home with that. Oh, yeah. 100%ed like, oh, the, like the pro versions well, of like, guys, all the songs. This is just like Genshin Impact. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? I think it's about time that I show off my winning strategies. Fellas, I've got a good feeling about this one. All we've got to do is, uh. Yep. Next, you gotta you gotta do this. He will never find me this way. <laughs> Does he know? Oh my god, he doesn't know. He literally looked like a right, piece fellas, of the environment. I got a for this map. We're just gonna stand here. He has no clue. I, I can't. Why is it working like this? I'm sorry, guys. Looking up is really hard. I am torturing this man. You could say that he's uh, that he's among us. We also have event content <laughs> like the boat mini game. I'm having so much fun with the boat mini game. The Pokemon tournament arc died. What is happening on my screen? Does that man have a fucking gun? The bo beetle cockfighting. I've always wanted to beat a child. And my personal favorite, Chinese New Year, because it makes me the most money. Just uh, don't look up any of the cutscenes. What the fuck? You know who Tao? I think you've got some hidden talent. Please keep it hidden. That rap wasn't released. It fucking escaped. <laughs> He's squishing you. Mm-hmm. Asher. Kaya, okay, you gotta watch out, buddy. You're, you're fucking you're rolling to the right. Asher, right. you need to... There. Sumeru is an autocratic Orwellian surveillance state with a little hint of apartheid, governed by the worst organization imaginable. 
University. This nation is oh, the land God. of knowledge, with most of it being devoted to new, more efficient ways to be racist. And to that end, Sumeru is segregated between two distinct parts, each with their own unique ways to kill you. The forest is a terrifying safari hellscape, where each animal is not only able to kill you, but is evolved to. We've got tigers, cows, crocodiles, robot dinosaur, f fungus dinosaur. Welcome to Jurassic Park. My team destroys <laughs> that thing, though. Like, I've had to farm that thing because Kole's uh, uh, ascension materials drop from him. Dude, I kill that boss so fast with my team. <laughs> like, he's so weak Killer. to Electro. <laughs> Everything else in that place can suck it, though. <laughs> but most importantly, the forest is where the white people live, and they're filling the library with video essays. This is the Academia, who controls Subaru by spreading misinformation on the internet. Raiden, the Academia doesn't want you to know this, but you can steal ducks from the public park. The, they're free, Raiden. <laughs> the desert is a desolate, abandoned wasteland. One I forgot about that. <laughs> What was that originally from? Like some like it's like yeah, they don't want you to know this, but the ducks at the park are free. <laughs> it's free real estate. Yeah. <laughs> It's home to a thriving civilization. Before the Caucasoids built a giant wall between them. Does does anyone else think this is weird? We've got scorpions. We've got scorpions. Welcome to Jurassic Hell. We've got the uh. Never mind. So is he gonna like uh? What? Okay, and we've got worm demons. But my personal favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fuck off laser. There are, of course, even more enemies, but most of them are just liberal propaganda to make you believe that race mixing is a physical need. And fellas, it's working. But hey, the desert isn't all that bad, as long as you ignore the racist genie quest. Motherfucker graduated from casual to competitive racism. All right, later, Max. What? Wait. I gotta go AFK real quick. D no! You can't do this to me! Look, the point is, Sumeru is massive. And it's not even done. And also, Leeway isn't done. And also, Mondstadt. Yeah. But what Sumeru does have is an actually good story. Like, out of all the things I expected, Harvard building an Evangelion was not one of them. Shinji! Get the fuck out of here the right now! <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna also, say... Also, I knew it! I knew it! It's Scaradouche. Scaradouche, Scaradouche. Uh, but Shinji, get the fuck out of the A, bud. It's like, it, I know that's the meme. It's like, get in the damn robot, Shinji. Get in the fucking robot, Shinji. Yeah, but instead it's just like, get out of it. And I guarantee you just be like, oh, finally, thank God someone tells me what I want to do. Tell me what to do anymore, Mom. I'm finally inside of another man. Oh, <laughs> oh no. The <laughs> all-knowing. Jesus Christ, they really made this boss fight. Mobile game, by the way. So whether you're exploring deep in the woods at 4 a.m., finding amazing oases, God, I sure hope nothing whimsical happens here. Fighting more minorities, I'm trying to be a police officer, or doing the eight-hour gnome people quest. That is, a, that is a lot of side quests. There will always be a new surprise in Sumeru, and if future content is even a fraction as good as this, then I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Because, you know, I wasn't doing that already. Oh, yeah, by the way, Max, the new region comes out this year. So, yeah, he'll probably so, yeah, be making another definitely video. definitely be playing for a very long time. What the fuck? Saito? Saito, where are you going? This man is fucking tweaking out right now. You know what, guys? Before I go, I want to give you all a fun tip that most Genshin players don't know. The age of consent is 18 years old. Said that the first video. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Maxor. Once again, just overpopulating my brain with all these memes, and there's not there's nothing I can do about it. There's the litter. scary thing is, like I said, since I've been playing it so much, normally Maxor's videos go like half and half over my head, but like I understood basically everything in that video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I still get nothing because Outside I don't play of maybe that like game. Some, maybe some of his references that don't involve the game, you know, like from other memes like I might have missed, but I got a lot of it. And it's just like normally we watch his videos and it's just like what the fuck just happened? Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? 
He's a good, he's a good one, though. So, all right, everybody. I don't know what else to say other than the fact that I still don't play Genshin Impact. Probably never will play Genshin Impact, but... <clears throat> hey, uh... But he doesn't hey, know that for sure. Hey, Genshin devs. You got a mega fan over here, though. So... Sponsor me. <laughs> and then they're just gonna be like, then you need the live stream. Or make videos, at least. I'm still learning. Well, I feel like I'm getting pretty knowledgeable at this point, I guess. Yeah. Well... I actually uh, uh, took the website for helping me optimize my artifacts off my bookmarks the other day because I was like, you know what? This is too time-consuming, and I kind of know what I'm doing at this point. I don't need this shit no more. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, I really don't know what else to say at this point other than the fact that, Maxor, you did it again. And until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. Take this care. This is Asher. Oh, yeah, this, this is Ashy boy. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.